Hi friends, today's tutorial, we're gonna make a gang sheet using the free version of canva.com. Gang sheets are a great way to give you more creative control over the size of your DTF and UV DTF transfers. Let's get started. Okay, so starting on the canva.com homepage, you're gonna notice that I have the pro version of Canva, but you do not need the pro version to do this. You can absolutely do this using the free version. So we're gonna click create a design. We're gonna click custom size. And then right here under units, we're gonna change from pixels to inches. Now for the width and the height. For today's video, I'm going to use the dimensions that my local DTF printer uses in her studio. Her printer width is 24 inches. Um, However, you might need to check with whoever your local printer is because not all printers are the same size. And if you're uploading online to a website that does not have its own gang sheet builder, you might need to check the FAQs or just check with them to see what the width needs to be here. So you want to give it an inch of wiggle room. So my gal's printer is 24 inches, so we are going to use 23 inches inches you want to give it that one inch of space just for the printing process to make sure there's no oopsie daisies for the height we're going to put in 80 inches create new design before we do anything else we're going to go right up here and we're going to title it so that it will be easy to find in our files later and you see we've got this big 23 by 80 sheet here. We can zoom in if we need to. We can zoom out. Okay, I'm going to go over here to Uploads. And you can see that I already have plenty of PNGs here, but I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that if you don't know how to do that. You're going to go to Upload Files, wherever on your desktop or your documents that you have your PNG files. You'll just need to upload that. I'm just going to go to my desktop. I know I've got a few uh, teacher ones here that we can do. Kindergarten, first grade. And you'll see them uploading. And there they go. There they go. Okay. So if you just click them, they'll automatically populate onto the workspace here. Now, I, oh, I'm glad I chose this one. Look at this teacher one. Okay, we do not need all this extra space up here. So what I love about Canva is you can resize the image so that you can maximize the space you have um, on your overall canvas and it's not going to look like they're overlapping each other. Okay, we're going to put it all the way at the top just like that. And since we're already giving an extra inch of wiggle room for our printer, it's okay that we put it over here all the way up to the side. Now, if you click right here, it's gonna show you what the dimensions and inches are for your image. I'm going to make this one about 11.5 inches. I'm gonna move this one up. I'm gonna resize this one down to just about 12, yeah, right in there. So you can either continue uploading images from your upload section over here, or if you need multiple of these, you can hit uh, Control C and then Control V on your keyboard, and you can just copy and paste these. Now, I do want to show you something before you get a little cut and paste happy. You want to make sure that you leave enough wiggle room in between these images. If you click off it, you want to have enough cut space when you're going to cut these uh prints out. So just something to be aware of. Now I resized this one. It's a little bit wide, but it's a rectangular shape. So I love how Canva has this twisty feature. We can just do a little twist a here and put it right there. Copy and paste another one. So let's fill up the board so you can see what they look like all the way down. All right, after your gang sheet is filled up as much as you possibly can while still having the appropriate amount of space for cutting out, you're gonna go up here to share. You're gonna click download. Now this is a very, very important step 
that you don't want to miss before you click the final download button. It should uh, auto default to PNG file type right here. You want to make sure you click transparent background. Otherwise, this white background will print on your transfer. It will not be clear in between all of those little spaces. So after we click transparent background, then we can click download. Now I have clicked off of this download page before and then it hasn't finished downloading. I think that's really just depends on your computer speed. So once you've got this in your downloads folder, you can then uh, email it, upload it to your online DTF vendor. There we go, folks. I hope this was helpful to you. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask in the comments. If you'd like to see more tutorials like this, let me know that in the comments as well. Make sure to give this video a like and my channel a subscribe, and I will see you next time.